We will not start this video with the events in Ukraine. Instead, we will see the tense situation between Armenia and Azerbaijan, as the two countries are conducting a massive buildup of forces on the border. After several videos that showed Azerbaijani forces, now we have the Armenian army moving toward the border with Azerbaijan. The Azeri army is conducting large military exercises and the Armenians claim it could be a cover for planned military aggression. The situation is very tense in the Caucasus. Since Armenian Prime Minister accused Russia of not fulfilling its obligations in the Collective Security Organization, and Nikol Pashinyan said that Armenia no longer rely on Russia for protection, the Russian Foreign Ministry accused Armenia of unfriendly actions after military exercises with the United States. The Russian Foreign Ministry expressed a protest to Armenian Ambassador Vagarshak Harut Yunyan in connection with the unfriendly actions committed by Yerevan. According to the press service of the ministry, these actions included the launch of the process of ratification of the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court and the holding of joint military exercises with the United States. Russian diplomats also drew attention to doubts expressed by the Armenian authorities regarding the advisability of allied ties, both within the framework of the Collective Security Treaty Organization and on a bilateral basis with Russia. And this are vehicles of the armed forces of Azerbaijan, which are moving in columns in the direction of the border with Armenia. A new tactical sign in the form of a crossed out Latin Z was seen. Iran is also involved, and Tehran backs Armenia in the conflict because of the conflict with Azerbaijan over Azeru minority. Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi has reaffirmed Iran's strong opposition to any geopolitical change along its border regions. He was referring to Azerbaijan's threats to carve out a chunk of territory along the Iranian-Armenian border to make a corridor it calls Zangazur, which would obliterate the land border between Iran and Armenia. Raisi also said cooperation with any foreign party, holding military drills with them and making suspicious trips would only make the situation more complicated. The Iranian president further stressed that Iran is ready to help Armenia and Azerbaijan Republic resolve their dispute. But then, Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan said that if Iran interferes in Azerbaijan's affairs, the Turkish army will respond quickly. Turkey is a NATO member, and the Turkish president met with President Putin last week. The conflict could readily spiral into a war involving a much larger number of countries. And let's get back to Ukraine. Here are voting ballots from the temporarily occupied Ukrainian territories where Russia is holding pseudo-elections these days. The writings on them say, Donetsk is Ukraine, awaiting the AFU. FU, glory to Ukraine. Mayor of Melitopol Ivan Fedorov reports that another pseudo-election headquarter was targeted with FPV drones, this time in Skelki, occupied Zaporizhia region. If you wonder why things are moving slow, where is why? Ukraine are no longer trying to attack trenches, it's tunnels.
Third Assault Brigade destroys Russian T-90M tank that shelled at Ukrainian positions with help of FPV kamikaze drones. Three FPV kamikaze drones cost $1,500 versus T-90M, which cost four, $5 million. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.